Hello and welcome to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales. So this is in answer to one of the questions that I've been asked, because that's what they call them questions. <laughs> How do I prepare? How do I prepare my cardboard? So this is a very important thing. If that's what you're interested in, please stay there and um, we'll, I shall see you after the introduction. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. Yeah, it's a moment, a bit of a funny moment today. So you might be recognize that. That's part of the tree painting that I did um, not so long ago. It's uh, in your cancer. So... I got some um, sticky stuff there, some blue tack, uh, white tack. I don't know what they call it in different countries, but it's called blue tack in the UK. So I just stick that on there. And then I just mount that cardboard. This is acid-free cardboard, by the way. Um, it's proper mount board for picture framing. If, in case you're interested, I've covered this subject no end of time. So it, it, it's quite archival. It's not a problem. But it's cardboard nevertheless. It's not the type of cardboard that you would find on um cereal boxes and things like that just adjusted my cameras as i'm talking to you <laughs> so um yeah that's that, that it's just cardboard but i make, i've got some homemade gesso i made some of this homemade gesso um this is quite old stuff in fact so we need a bit a bit of water in there let's just uh top this up with water so basically it's just chalk and um house paint you know the the white paint that you put on ceilings and stuff in the house that's all it is really uh there's a few other things in there i put a little bit of water with that i'll get a brush i'll stir that up because it's quite it's quite it's gone quite thick there we are the other thing i put in there is a little drop of oh, that stuff you know you know i have i have problems pronouncing that it's prop prop properly Pro, 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 propylene, propylene glycol. It's that one anyway. There you go. So yeah, I just put a little drop. There's no, there's no set amounts. It's just what I think would work. I don't want too much. It's maybe a little drop in there, just a little drip in there. I put that in there because that tends to work well with what I'm mixing. Um, if you find that the paint is a little bit wishy-washy just put some uh, general uh, uh, ordinary acrylic gesso uh, uh, not a gesso uh, acrylic um, white titanium paint in there you can put a bit of a uh, bit a bit of that in if you want to um, just ordinary acrylic paint like that there you go just the um, acrylic gesso uh, ge acrylic titanium white put a bit of that in there um, and I'll be good I'll be good that's all you need don't need to spend lots of money on gesso there's plenty of videos that i've made on how, how to make gesso by the way um but my f my formulas change over the years as they normally do with these type of things so um i just proceed to put a thick thin coat of that on just white you can see it, it covers quite nicely i'm not too worried about little lumps and bumps um, i think that adds a little bit of character to the painting and a lot of my paintings are done specifically for YouTube anyway. And as you can see, I'm painting on the back of the one I painted on. I made a, a painting of the other day, the tree painting. So I don't keep them, um, but the yes, they are archival. Now, I'm, the same process that I'm doing here, I would use um, for something like this. There we are. <coughs> That's a, 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 actually a canvas board that I'm doing. Um, I'm working on that one. Been working on that one quite a while actually been working on that one for quite a while and um yeah so any anything like that um i i, I say use the same process but what i would do with a canvas panel is after i put the first coat of gesso on i'd lightly 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 sand it with some um, glass paper or something like that or a sanding block and get it nice and smooth again there's been plenty of videos in my playlists you need to go and have a look at, at how I actually prep canvases and then I proceed to do another coat of gesso over that now I just leave it at that that's all I need to do now the only other thing I'm going to do to this is put what I call a ground on it 
and what I'll do now is I'll force dry that. Normally I'll let it air dry. Um, I'm just going to force dry that with a hairdryer. Make sure it's really dry. Um, I let it air dry personally. Um, now, thinking about what I'm painting today, because um, I'm going I'm thinking of painting some sort of um, a moon or a sun or, or, or a, 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 I seen a, um, a a moon rising and a sun setting at the same time. It would be one of those strange things. I'll talk about it in the video. One of those strange things when you can get the two things in the sky at the same time, and it was a wonderful, wonderful scene. So I'm actually going to paint that. So thinking about that, I thought I'm going to pick a ground. So I'm going to put a bit of yellow ochre um, as a ground, just a little bit of a little bit of moisture. I don't want to. I don't want this too strong. And then I'm just going to put a a wash of colour just over my canvas like this. This is what they call a ground. It's just going to kill the white basically that's all it does is it just allows us to see more more tones and things well me does it does me anyway me does me does <laughs> it does for me anyway so all i'm going to do is put a a tonal wash on there like that and then that's ready for the lesson so that's how i prepare my bits of cardboard for the lessons for YouTube which you're going to see so if you want to see this lesson don't forget the don't forget to click the subscription button and the notification bell and if you want to help don't forget if you want to give me a super like that would be great that's down there there's a little heart with a with a with a sign in it click on that have a look what you think if you want to if you want to do that that's fine that's, that's helping me directly um and all this all this helps the channel grow so yeah um all these uh, videos are for free so yeah unless you want to help and donate then i'm i'm happy to to do that because it it helps pay towards all the materials that i use in the studio and, uh, anyway what are you don't worry about that thank you very much don't forget to click the notification bell and i'll see you on the next video Bye. -bye.